May I request Sheikh Salim Al Amri to come and talk about the precious time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Wa man attaba'a hudahi la yawmid deen amma ba'd. My dear brothers and sisters, first of all, I need to express my personal feelings towards all of you. Allah is my witness. I love you all for his sake. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gather all of us in Jannat al Naim. Ameen. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his divine names and attributes to reward immensely our brothers and sisters who are walking around the clock to make this function and event successfully. May Allah accept their deeds and may Allah reward them and may Allah keep them steadfast on the path and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them Jannatul Naim. Ameen. The topic is preciousness of time. Time, my dear brothers and sisters, which is indeed our life is time. We consist of time. Al Hassan al Basri rahimahullah ta'ala said, O oh son of man, you consist of minutes and seconds. Every time a minute elapses, part of you is gone. I want you to look to the clock and see when it is ticking. Every minute goes, part of you is gone. Every minute passes, you are getting closer to your end. You are getting closer to your grave. That's why Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. He said in the hadith which is in Bukhari, the book of Riqaq, he said, Ni'matan maghboonun fihima kathirun minan nas al-sihhatu wal-farab. Two blessings, two blessings. Many people from among us, from among the children of Adam, they lose. What are these two blessings? Health and free time. Health and free time. Two things. And many of us, they lose them. They don't reap the maximum benefit out of these two blessings. They waste time, which is their life. Not time is gold, time is your life. And you will be questioned about time. Every minute you waste, you will be asked by Allah Azza wa Jal, what did you do on the day of resurrection? How did you spend your life? How did you spend your time? What answer do you have? I was watching television. I was watching movie. I was listening to music. These are the answers you are going to give. I was engaged in backbiting, slandering, idle talks. Are these the answers you are going to give? Because you are going to be questioned about time. So this is a blessing Allah has given you. And you should prepare the answer. How you utilize your time. If you don't utilize your time in a way that pleases Allah. 
in the way that will bring you closer to him, you will regret. Believe me, you will regret. And you will be among the losers. This is one blessing. Time. And the other blessing is health. Allah has given you health. Saha, Abiyah, healthy body. And yet you don't worship him. Yet you don't get up for the Fajr. You miss your prayers. What excuse do you have when a blind man came to the Prophet Sallallahu and he said, Oh Prophet of Allah, the Medina, the roads in Medina are full of serpents and scorpions and many reptiles. Can I pray at home? Remember, he's a blind man. The Prophet Sallallahu said, Yes. And when he left, he called him back. He said, do you hear the adhan? He said, yes. Then he said, I cannot find an excuse for you. And he's blind. I cannot find an excuse for you. Allah is giving you sight, health, and you don't worship him? Many of us, they are in their 50s or 60s, and they are still sinning and disobeying Allah. Subhanallah. When you know that, the Prophet ﷺ, he said that the average of my ummah, the lifespan, is between 60 and 70. So if you are already in the 50s, counting down already, get ready, prepare yourself. If you are already across the 60, that is bonus from Allah. Get ready. So the time that our forefathers, they realized the value of time. That's why they were very strict about time. I'll just give you a few examples and I conclude. That is bonus from Allah. Rahimahullah. He used to tell his son, my son, when I go to respond to the call of nature, when I'm in the toilet, I cannot take my book with me. So what I want you to do is to read loudly. Read loudly so that I can hear while I am in the toilet. That means that time is not dead time. Even when I am responding to the call of nature, I am benefiting and I am utilizing my time. So read loudly because they realize the value of time. Take another example from among the history of our forefathers, the heroes of Islam. He said to his wife, when you make my food, don't make it solid. Leave it in a liquidish form. I just want to gulp it. I have no time to chew. To gulp it. I don't want to chew because that takes time. Take another example. One of the ulama was calling his brother, wait for me. He was walking quickly, wait for me. He told him, hold the sun for me. Can you hold the sun for me? I have no time. Another one, he was invited to a banquet. He said to the host, make a room for two, one for me and one for my book. I'm going to come with my book. Yes, because we are the nations of Reed. We are Ummat Iqra. We are the followers of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We are the offsprings and the progeny of the pioneers who established a civilization in the history of man that has no parallel. Those who are fathers because they realized the importance of time. They established that civilization, which the civilization, the modern civilization you see today, picked from where our forefathers left. The streets in Spain were lit when Europe were completely in darkness. Why? 
because they loved the ilm, the knowledge, and they understood the value of time. They were not wasting time. And yet, we are wasting time. And we are going to be questioned about time. So it is high time, my dear brothers and sisters, to wake up. And it is high time to utilize our time. And may Allah bless our time. And may Allah bless our efforts. And may Allah guide all of us. And may Allah unite all of us on the straight path. And may Allah bring us all together. And may Allah keep us steadfast till we meet him. And he's bleed with all of us. Ameen. May Allah reward you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Spread the word, oh man. Spread the word of Islam. Oh, fortunate one.